This is Mix 1.70 Beta 1 and the Stanton SCS-1M controller. Basically every on-screen control is mapped on this controller. Um, all the knobs you see that I have turned down are uh, not used on the controller because we actually have more knobs than we need. And um, most of the controls are self-explanatory. For example, the uh, high, mid, and low here on the controller will of course affect high, mid, and low on the screen. Uh, the slider is for the volume. And uh, these, uh, this is this strip here is, is deck one, and this strip is deck two. Um, the pitch control is here for deck two and here for deck one. So this side is deck one, and that side is deck two. Controls kind of go like this. So uh, there's a diagram online that shows the, the details. What we have that's uh, unique to this controller is uh, these changeable displays. They will show you, uh, I've got them configured now to show the pitch percentage. Um, let me zoom a little here on the, on the displays so you can see a little bit more. Uh, first of all, ignore the, uh, the fact that some of the digits are missing. These displays are prototypes. Um, they, the production ones don't do this. Um, so if you look here, as I, as I move the pitch slider, it shows right on the display what the pitch is. Of course, it corresponds to what's on screen but this way you don't have to look at your screen to see what's going on. Likewise, if you move the thing on the screen, it's gonna change the uh, on the display as well, uh, but obviously you can't move the physical fader, so once you move the fader, it'll catch and do that anyway. Um, these buttons to the left and right are, tempor are uh, permanent pitch changes uh, by 1%, and um, let me zoom back out. The, these buttons at the bottom are temporary pitch changes. Uh, by 4% or that's configurable in the software. You can also very easily adjust pitch range. Uh, as you see here, um, the, L the uh, LCD background is green. Uh, just by twisting this knob, it will, it will increase the range by 1% each time. And once you cross 25, it turns orange. And when you cross 50, it turns red, as you can see there. So obviously if we go all the way to the top, we're at 66%. And as you can see, it goes one, one uh, percentage point per click. So you can actually go all the way down to one really quickly and all the way up to 100 with just a couple of twists. So it gives you uh, flexibility. Like say you're at the um, edge of a song and you're right up at 10%, but you don't want to suddenly jump to 25, you just bump it up one and then you have a, you know, a little bit of room to work in here. Uh, the other displays in the center will show time remaining on the, on the uh, tracks, on the decks. And these LEDs are positionally accurate, um, uh, like spinning platter effects. So let's load a song, and uh, we've got we've got the dial and browse mode right now, which lets you just scroll through the, the track list. Uh, let's use this and press the center to load into the uh, first available deck. Um, this is the play button for each deck, these two, and these are the cue buttons. Um, we do have a fader start feature. Um, this button at the top uh, is when it's red, it's on, and when it's off, it's not. It's uh, the effect is off. So if I go to deck, or if I'm playing deck B and I move to deck A, it starts playing deck A. So you can use that like a cue, scratch cue effect or whatever. And of course, turning that off, it'll just continue and do it'll the deck will continue playing normally. Uh, this also works with channel faders. So if you go down, let me turn that back on. Bringing up the channel fader for deck one, it'll play. And of course it works the same for deck two once I load something there. Um, if you zoom on the display, you can see the, the time elapsed is indeed working. And uh, of course if I fast forward, that'll, that'll correspond with that. Pressing this, uh, pressing the knob will make the deck go in reverse. And twisting it is, is just like twisting the, knot, the uh, spindle on the center of a uh, turntable. So you can use it to speed up or slow down the song just to tweak it. As you can see, we've also got the VU meters working. Um, these are uh, accurate to the screen. So if it's clipping on the screen, you'll, it'll be clipping on the meter. Again, it's just another way you don't have to look at your don't have to look at the computer screen. Um, the master balance is this knob here for pan. So obviously, if I go left or right, it's chain, it, you see it on just one or the other on the screen. Um, these three knobs will affect the flanger effect. So let's turn that on for this song. Let me go to a spot in the song you can hear more. Pressing the knob here will turn on the flange effect. And uh, it works the same for deck two on this knob. Um, so track is loaded. Depth, expected delay, and low frequency oscillation. And just hit it again to turn it off. These 
parameters are effective for both decks at the same time. Obviously the gain control. Again, you want it to peak in the meter without um, going over. So when the song is at its maximum, you want that to be maximum. Pressing these buttons here are, um, are the headphone cues for each deck. And these here are the sync buttons. They will synchronize, uh, like for example, this one will synchronize deck two with the speed of the song on deck one, assuming the BPM counter works correctly. Um, these are the tap buttons. Uh, this is for deck one, this is for deck two. So if you got a song going, tap quickly, it's gonna try and match what I'm tapping within the range of the, of the pitch slider. And of course, slower will, will adjust it automatically as well. Um, these buttons will switch between play queue, browse, and playlist mode, and uh, the knob will move through them. Right now, it, it only works with library. There's a there's a bug in the software that prevents it from working with browse, and we're in the, we're in the process of fixing that. Uh, pressing control causes the knob to be used like a um, like scratching, basically. So let's play the deck and show you that. Do back back spins too, and the sensitivity of that is actually adjustable in script if you like. kind of fun. Um, pr the, whichever green light of the deck you're controlling, so this is deck one and that's deck two, so obviously if I do this you won't hear anything because I don't have deck two with anything loaded yet. So that way it's clear you know which deck you're on without it getting confused. We also have hot cues just like on the SCS 3D. Uh, these preset buttons are used for them. So let's go to a spot in the song. Let's Like uh, the SCS 3D, you, as you press the button, it'll set a cue. And this button chooses which deck you're looking at. You've got four hot cues for each deck. When this is off, it's deck one, and when it's red, it's deck two. So you can see it will switch back and forth. You hold this button and press a cue to get rid of it, just like the SCS 3D. I believe that's all to show you. Um, so let me uh, load another track and do a little mixing here. Skip to the song. control also of the master volume up here, the headphone volume here, and the pre and main mix here. And uh, I don't remember if I showed you, but if you press the uh, press this knob that shows the position, it will play the track backwards. Each time you press it, and it'll talk. Show the. Uh, like twisting the knob on the, or the thing on the platter. Bring it in sync. And that's about it. Uh, you can download uh, Mix 1.7L Beta 1 at our website, Mix. That's Mix with three X's dot org. And click downloads and scroll down to Beta. Enjoy.